Hello, my name is Anthony Gale, and I am the Services Program Manager at Bouquin Hydraulics. Hello, my name is Serge Nikolov, and I'm the Services Marketing Specialist at Poclin Hydraulics. Thank you for attending this webinar. The webinar will last for about an hour, during which we will present our service offer to assist you with your development project. If you have any questions during the webinar, please post them as comments. We'll get back to you with answers shortly. We work in environments where regulation change quickly. Competition is strong and customers' expectations are high. In order to satisfy market demands, manufacturers need to develop machines that have ever increasingly high performance with better functionality and efficiency than previous machine generations. In this context, at the beginning of 2021, we set up a new program with the aim of developing services to assist our customers in their new development projects. Our goal in providing you our support and expertise is to help you optimize the design and performance of your machines and to contribute to your success in the market. The use of machine data, digitization, and simulation are key elements of our proposed service. As a guideline for the presentation, we will use the development cycle of a machine from the preliminary design stage to service production. The definition of the specifications will determine the success of a project even before the start of design and sizing studies. Connected engineering done in the preliminary design will characterize operation of a machine in the field and generate relevant and reliable input data for R&D teams. Claire, please, can you tell us what is connected engineering? Hello, yes, of course I can. I'm Claire Leray, IoT engineer at Pocklin Hydraulics. It is indeed important from the start of a study to make sure that we are in possession of all the input data that will allow us to optimize the performance and sizing of the new generation of a machine so that it meets customer expectations. Having reliable input data is also the best way to limit risks during the design phase. Data must define machine usage cases, constraints related to the application, and more broadly, the scope of the project. It will contribute to reducing development time and costs. This approach is valid for any new development. It is particularly so in the context of renewable projects for machines or ranges of machines, for transformation projects of machines, as in the case of the transition from a thermal combustion engine to an electric motor. Procline Hydraulics Connecting Engineering Service, implemented during the pre-engineering phase of a project, is aimed primarily at OEMs. Thanks to the analysis of data on service machines, Connecting Engineering makes it possible to characterize the operating modes, the way they are used and stressed in the field, in other words, their duty cycles. We can then deduce useful input data necessary for R&D teams for new development projects. How do we do this? We equip one or more series machines with a Poplar Hydraulics gateway that collects data from CAN buses and sends them to a secure cloud. For example, the data we collect can be related to hydraulics, such as pressures or temperatures, but also values related to the machine situation, its location, speeds, alarms or errors, battery charge, etc. Therefore, it is important in a first step to determine which significant data should be collected according to the objectives set for the analysis. If necessary, the machines can be equipped with additional sensors for the duration of the study. Once equipped, the machines are returned to the customers so that the data collected is representative of their operation under real condition of use. Therefore, it is important to make sure that the machines being monitored operate under conditions characteristic of the application. For a more comprehensive approach, it may be necessary to equip several machines operating under different conditions of use. The aim is to analyze operation of the machines over a limited period of time in detail, usually between 3 and 12 months. For this, data acquisition is done at a relatively high rate, between 10 and 250 values per second. In other words, we collect a large amount of data on the machine in a relatively short time. Throughout the entire collection period, we provide a dashboard accessible via a web page that can be used to monitor machine parameters in real time. 
we can check that the money machine is running correctly under expected conditions, that it is not stopped for unforeseen reasons, and that data is transferred normally. Collected data is analyzed by data scientists and application specialists at Pokeline Hydraulics at regular intervals. The graph, statistics, and analysis make it possible to characterize machine operating modes, duty cycle, and mission profiles to obtain a precise understanding of the conditions under which they operate, the constraints they face, and how they are used by the operator. Analyses are always based on factual data from machines operating in the field. The conclusions of the analysis are transcribed into reports and sent to the manufacturer's R&D teams for reuse in future development of machines. They thus directly contribute to optimizing the design, performance, and sizing of new machines while reducing development times. Of course, time series data collected on the machine remains a property of customers and can be made available in a standard exchange format. When the study is finalized, the Klein gateway and the sensors are removed from the machines to be made available from further analysis campaigns. This brief introduction describes our connecting engineering offer that we recommend during a pre-engineering phase as the data from the field is of value for machine builders and the R&D teams. Thank you, Claire. Knowing and understanding the use of machines in the field is essential in order to be able to offer equipment that satisfies the expectations of users from the design, performance and functional point of view. But another step may also prove important in the preparatory phase of a project. Most new projects involving mobile or industrial applications require production of a prototype. It is typically made on site and requires expertise and time to successfully integrate all systems into frequently tight spaces. Also, when prototyping is started based on an existing machine, it involves working in an environment with physical and geometric characteristics that are sometimes difficult to understand. The 3D integration service can ease this step. Julien, can you please give us more details? Hello everyone, I'm Julien Lambé, design engineer in the system design office at Pokla Hydraulics. Indeed, the 3D integration service forms part of Pokla Hydraulics commitment to support its customer throughout their development projects. Whatever the scope of study, design change, integration of new function, or transformation of a machine, our expertise ensures that you can make a prototype at the level you expect while reducing development cost and time. With 3D integration, we implement a scanning process to recreate a 3D environment of a machine. This approach makes it possible within the framework of the production of a new prototype to take into account the specificities, the geometry, variance and option of a machine in the study of integration of the component and to anticipate difficulties before even starting prototyping in the workshop. In order to provide the service expected by customers, 3D integrations offer three levels of support. First, 3D scanning of a machine environment. Second, component integration status in the digitized environment of the machine. And finally, a complete study of the complete integration of the hydraulics or electro-hydraulic system. The first level of support, 3D scanning of the machine's environment, is managed by your Pokla hydraulics technician specifically trained in scanning complex environments and in the use of post-processing software. The scanner we use offers a resolution and volumetric performance suitable for industrial application and allow intent capture of the geometry of the machine, even in areas where measurement is difficult or impossible. The scan operation can be performed directly on site without the need to move the machine, which significantly reduces work times and transport cost. The surfaces to be scanned are clean and targets are affixed so that scanning can take place under good conditions. The scanning operation is contactless and may require several operations depending on the volume to be scanned. The reconstruction of the global 3D environment is then finalized on the computer by measuring the digitized subassemblies. 
After cleaning and deleting unnecessary items from scan views, references are created to identify functional elements in the 3D environment. These references will be necessary in order to carry out measurement of dimension, to control geometries, and to study the integration of components. At the end of these first steps, the 3D scanning of the machine environment is finalized and the files are transmitted to the customer in exchange formats compatible with CAD software. Depending on the need of the machine, a solid 3D model of the environments can also be created in order to directly accessible and modified in CAD software. With digital media, it becomes possible to study the integration of a system in a complex environment by anticipating the constraints linked to the design, to the geometry defects, or to the variant of a machine. The prototyping phase in the workshop will be made easier and shorter, and the 2D files can be archived. When the development phase is started, the detailed definition of hydraulic or electrohydraulic functions of a machine requires careful selection of components and system architecture. This work is done by our application engineers using calculation and design tools developed by Poquin and their solid knowledge of machines and applications. The aim is to provide the architecture that best satisfies the specifications and performance requirements of machine, taking into account, if possible, the duty cycle resulting from connected engineering. The other two 3D integration service support levels then is design work on the prototype. Indeed, with the second level of support, Proclan Hydraulics brings its expertise to the study of the integration of component into the 3D digital environment of the machine. The digital environment can come from the scan of the machine or it can be provided by the customer. Likewise, the 3D files of the components to be integrated into the machine are supplied by Proclan Hydraulics or by the customer, depending on the case. Proclan Hydraulics then performs a study to propose an integration of the components which take into account the geometric and functional constraint of the machine. We identify possible interferences between the component and the environment. We check the proximities and record them in a report that will act as a support for the development of the prototype. It is then possible to anticipate the difficulties, supply all the materials and prepare the adaptation part necessary for the realization of the prototype before even starting to work on it. The production time is thus reduced by limiting the need to resort to a mock-up. The machine's 3D files can be archived and easily updated in case of modification. Finally, the third level of support for the 3D integration service consists of supporting our customers in the complete integration study from the resolution of the interference problems identified to the proposal for the integration of the full hydraulics or electro-hydraulic system in the machine. As before, a report with technical recommendation for making the prototype is provided at the end of the study. In the case of a complete study of the integration, input data can be generated to optimize the system by simulation. To conclude, Proclan Hydraulics is able to support you in the prototype design phase from the scanning of a machine to the study of the integration of component or systems. Regardless of the service level, the goal is to provide you with the elements that will allow you to anticipate difficulties and produce your prototype according to standard practice while controlling the cost and deadline of realization. Thank you, Julien. In other words, Poclin can support its customers in the prototype definition and design phases adapting to the expected level of expertise. But in an increasingly competitive and regulatory environment, deepening machine optimization studies can be decisive in better meeting market requirements and becoming more competitive. This is possible through system simulation. Hello, Johan. Hello, I'm Johan Brunel, senior simulation expert at Poclin Hydraulics. Our theoretical sizing tools are well suited in many cases, but we are seeing a growing interest for more in-depth studies 
particularly in order to provide more relevant responses to new opportunities or constraints affecting our customers. For example, this is the case with the downsizing of diesel engines, sometimes necessary to satisfy stricter pollution standards or the electrification of machines. These modifications require energy optimization of transmissions and lead us to review the system architectures, the choice of our sizing of components, or even to adapt our control strategies. Problems also arise when our customers wish to increase the performance of their machines, for example, the travel speed, or when they seek to reduce the cost of a solution by optimizing a function or downsizing certain components. System simulation combined with consolidated input data enables us to address these optimization needs and to anticipate risks in advanced prototyping phases. It allows us to take action to improve the performance of a solution, to analyze a problem on an existing machine, or to work with our customers on the development of a new machine or function. Simulation allows us to be more relevant in optimizing the performance of a machine because our analysis takes into account the characteristics specific to our system, such as efficiencies or control strategies, or also external elements, such as the characteristic of a thermal combustion engine or the consumptions of auxiliaries. It allows us to evaluate how each component of the system contributes to the overall energy consumption, responsiveness and driving comfort, and its impact on the thermal behavior of the transmission. The behavior of a machine can then be analyzed according to specific scenarios or maneuvers described by the customer or proposed by Poclin. As an example, it is possible to simulate acceleration and braking phases, steering phases, or wheel slip situations. All of these results can be weighted over a realistic operating cycle to focus development efforts on the most relevant elements. By confirming the performance resulting from the design choices, the virtual commissioning allows us to better anticipate customers' expectations, consolidate the specification, and orient the development as early as possible in order to limit the repetition of trial-error loops. How do we do this? The first phase consists of studying our customers' requests in order to evaluate its feasibility in simulation. We then describe in detail the deliverables and the means to be implemented. If we consider that there is not enough input data to meet the request correctly, we can recommend prior characterization of the current system or components. This can be done via connected engineering or by performing elementary tests. It is also relevant to identify alternative solutions that we can compare with in order to maximize the value of the simulation study. For the implementation, we gather all required data from Proclin or the customer, perform the necessary detailed calculations, monitor the test when necessary, and analyze the results obtained. We then build the associated system models and perform the first simulations. As soon as the first results are available, we hold regular discussions with the customer to note the points at which vigilance is necessary and to confirm that we are in line with the initial request. Adjustment can be made if necessary. Alternative solutions are evaluated according to criteria defined with the customer and recommendations can be made based on the results obtained. This can impact the choice or sizing of components, control strategies, system architecture, or the sizing of a function. Improvement solutions can be evaluated if they seem relevant. Finally, a report is issued summarizing the initial requirements, the procedure, the assumptions made, and the simulation results. This is how system simulation enables us to support our customer from the design phase of their machines to their virtual commissioning. We strongly recommend the simulation approach when it is applicable, as it accelerates the definition the increasing maturity and optimization of the solutions we develop with our OEM customers and their R&D teams. Thank you, Johan. As technologies evolve and become more complex, the in-depth study of machine operations is more and more often necessary and justified, and system simulation is a service that is set to grow. We can take a moment here to highlight the links between the different services 
that make more sense when they are deployed in parallel. For example, connected engineering creates input data for R&D teams and also for the system simulation approach. The system integration study, component sizing and simulation are closely linked in a process of overall solution optimization. The next step is directly related to prototype production. Without going into detail, we can say that prototyping is usually done on-site at our customers. However, prototyping can be done in Pokla Hydraulics workshops, depending on the project, machine and configuration. Feasibility is evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. It is also important to note that using our CT Suite software makes Pokla Hydraulics computer configuration easier and faster. This makes it possible for our customers to combine our standard product functions and generate the control software specific to their machines quickly and in a few clicks. This saves a lot of time in the development of a prototype. When finalized, the prototype is put into service. This is obviously an important and essential step in the life of the machine, carried out by our expert technicians who supervise its first startup, its configuration, and the first operational test. At this stage of the project, Connecting Engineering will allow the prototype to be monitored in real time, from commissioning to field tests. We can precisely analyze machine operation in any place and at any time in order to optimize configuration and facilitate qualification. Theo and Kirian will tell us more. Hello. I'm Theo Ranson, and I'm data scientist at Pokla Hydraulics. Hello, I'm Kyrian Devigne, and I'm an IoT engineer at Pokla Hydraulics. So, at the beginning of this webinar, we describe how the connecting engineering approach allows, in preliminary design, to characterize machine operating modes and duty cycles in order to deduce input data useful for new development. Following the development process of a machine, once the prototype is finalized, configured, and commissioned by Pokla Hydraulics teams, a validation period starts that can last from a few weeks to several months. During this period, the prototype will be subjected to a series of tests and very often to real working conditions. By ensuring real-time monitoring of the prototype during its first month of customer operation, Connecting Engineering facilitates the validation and qualification process of the machine. Based on the data from the prototype in operation in the field, uh, it is possible to validate its compliance in terms of performance, reliability, and functionality, and to verify that it will meet customer expectations. The implementation of connecting engineering at this stage of the project is similar to the pre-projects. A Procline Hydraulic Gateway is installed on the prototype, as well as any additional sensor required for monitoring the machine. Here again, it is important to determine the data to be collected which makes sense according to the analysis objective set and to make sure that the machine operation is under condition representative of the application. If necessary, the machine may be required to work in different locations that so that the tests are as exhaustive as possible. During the test period, machine data is collected at high frequencies so that detailed analysis of machine operation can be made and, when applicable, any transient phenomena can be detected. A dashboard is accessible to ensure that the machine is operating under expected condition, to monitor its operating parameters in real time, and to report any alarms or errors that occur. Pokla Hydraulics team analyzes prototype data in the same way as for connected engineering in the preliminary design phase. There can be several purposes, such as characterizing operation of the machine to validate the conformity of its design and sizing, evaluating the performance of the machine, monitoring consumption, report and process alarms or errors, adjusting operating parameter settings, monitoring the use of the machine and the activation of its functionalities, and so on. Beyond the targeted analysis necessary to qualify the new machine, the monitoring of the prototype will also make it possible to relink with input data of the specification such, such as duty cycles and to validate their relevance. 
Connected engineering applied in the pre-design or during prototype testing thus offers the possibility of developing and validating machines using factual data obtained directly from machines operating in the field. Beyond contributing directly to improving the development process's efficiency, connected engineering enables manufacturers to perfect their knowledge of application and better understand the use of their machines by end customers. Thank you for these explanations. So, we can say that connecting engineering makes it possible to characterize and validate machines' operation at different stages of development based on the analysis of field data. However, specific or additional tests and scenarios may be necessary as part of the machine's qualification, for example, for a future homologation. As a leader in hydrostatic transmissions, Poclan Hydraulics has a proven ground for on-road and off-road vehicles, which allows us to conduct tests in optimal conditions adapted to the applications we serve. This track can be offered for exclusive rental, whether or not it is part of a development project. Let's join the test department for more information. Welcome to Poclin Hydraulics Test Tracks. I'm Hervé Erco, System Testing Manager at Poclin Hydraulics. Our test tracks can accommodate lightweight vehicles, agricultural machinery, construction vehicles, etc. They are accessible to large convoys and our team can assist with loading and unloading vehicles. Vehicle tests are performed exclusively and confidentially. Three distinct test areas are available depending on needs. An area de dedicated to on-road testing, an area dedicated to off-road testing, and workshops dedicated to work simulations. The asphalt on-road track is 650 meters long. It consists of two bank turns, two 200 meters long straight sections on a 20 meters in diameter flat area. A watering system reproduces low adherence conditions in rain. It can be used for road tests at up to 60 km per hour, homologation braking tests, steering, noise and many other tests. Different slopes with different coatings and roller sets make it possible to perform retaining, power and traction control tests. Off-road areas consist of different forest circuits specifically for use by lightweight vehicles. On low-grip test areas such as a sandbox, a pull of mud, a dirt slope, ditches and gravel slopes that are accessible to all types of vehicles. Finally, the work simulation areas include excavation, compaction and loading workshops. These workshops can be set up according to your needs. To complete your tests, we can weigh and ballast your vehicles with our rated masses or instrument them in order to collect and analyze test data using our connected engineering service. Our technical team ensures that the tests are carried out and correctly during the entire period of the activities and can take action when required if necessary. A technical team can also be dedicated to you and assist you to fulfill the test so that you can benefit from its experience with carrying out of the test on driving vehicles. Finally, the vehicles can be cleaned and parked in a secure area at the end of the test. You are welcome on our test tracks and we are at your disposal if you need further information. Thank you for the explanation. We are developing and working in technical fields and all that we have discussed so far is only possible due to the recognized skills of all our employees and customers. In order to guarantee this level of excellence, we offer on-site or remote training that helps you to maintain and develop the skills of your employees. The Poclan Hydraulics Training Center offers you a program adapted to your needs from the basics of hydraulics to specific sessions on Poclan components and system operation. Daniel, can you tell us more about the training center? Hello, I am Daniel Frock, training center manager at Poclan Hydraulics. Maintaining and developing the skills of your employee is a priority in our ever-changing technological environment. With our Poclan Hydraulics training center, we are qualified to provide technical training to all our partners and customers who wish, wish to increase the skills of their employees and workshop technicians. Over time, we have equipped and developed 
in order to offer you today a training program that covers all important subjects that most of our customers need to be operational in their daily work. The topics that we cover in our training courses address a very wide range of needs, from the fundamentals of hydraulics to more specific contents on our product system and hydraulic or electrohydraulic application. We are also able to offer tailored and customized training to satisfy your specific needs. Training dedicated to intervention on our hydraulic motors is also available to ensure a quality approach in the repair of our motors. You will be able to learn disassembly and reassembly method, as well as the best practices to ensure the maintenance of the hydraulic component in the best conditions. Our training center is equipped with a classroom and a workshop in which training can be put in a repair situation with adapted hydraulic components and tools. In a process of continuous improvement of our training courses, in 2021, we developed a training support vehicle, the tech truck, that trainees can use to study, analyze, and see how our transmissions and hydraulic system work. The COVID-19 crisis has led us to reconsider our training courses and to adapt our teaching method. This is because classroom training is no longer always appropriate. Since 2020, we have been able to offer you, from a dedicated and specially equipped room, digital training in the form of virtual classes to satisfy your distance training needs. Our priority is satisfaction of the people we train. Do not hesitate to visit the Pokeland Hydraulic website where you can find our training catalog. You can also contact us by email for more information or a customized training offer. Thank you, Daniel. The Pokeland Hydraulics Training Center has just been certified with a French National Quality Certification Standard, Calliope. This is a real guarantee of quality and professionalism and proof of the daily commitment of our teams to professional training. We have reached the end of the development process with machines ready for service production. However, the support of our customers does not stop there and Connected Engineering has concrete applications during the service life of machines. Data analysis from machines in on-field operation makes it possible to characterize, characterize the duty cycles and operating modes to improve knowledge of the applications or to perform troubleshooting analysis on machines that require it. Finally, Pokla Hydraulics is working on developing the Pokla Real-Time Operation Monitoring Offer intended for end customers. Pro Monitoring provides real-time monitoring of machines and analysis of data with the aim of facilitating and optimizing the use, maintenance and productivity of machines while reducing operating costs. This topic will certainly be covered in a later presentation. This is the end of this webinar. We hope that it has given you a good understanding of the support we offer and our commitment to providing you with the benefit of our expertise to develop innovative machines that continue to better meet customer needs. We will answer all of the questions you shared and will be available to you by email for any further questions or requests here for information. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.